What's going on, True Saying? Hey, man, what's going on, y'all? I got to talk to y'all about sometimes in the best situation for you is to be alone. Be alone, bro. Accept your alone situations. Like, you have to realize ain't nothing wrong with being alone, man. Ain't nothing wrong with just understanding who you are as a person and really visualizing your yourself and putting all the integrity, putting all the realism into your situation and understand where you're trying to go and where you're going. You have to realize these things, bro. You are not responsible for Always being in somebody's face, always being at a party, always being around a clique, always caring about certain situations. Women, take y'all ass home and take care of y'all kids. Man, you do the same, bro. You third, y'all be 37, 26, 27, be out here still doing kid shit. And you got to realize, bro, you get older, but just because you get older physically don't mean you get older mentally. And a lot of us care about partying so much, and the internet got us all over the place. So we do what everybody else do and care for what everybody else care for. That's how we take L's on the end. You lose so much money and so much time sitting here trying to keep up with the Joneses, bro. Learn how to be alone. Me... I came into this world alone. We all have. So we're going to die alone. So at the end of the day, the best piece sometimes is just being by yourself, cutting your phone off, not talking to nobody. Because at the end of the day, bro, everybody, energy is real, bro. So when people got a lot of problems and things, bro, that's why I be having to be mindful of who I be talking to. And this coming from me, real, real shit. Watch who you talk to, parents, uncles, aunties, everybody, because some people just want to see drama reflect. You can go talk to an auntie, feel like you got a safe place, and they ain't a safe place. You can go talk to your, your uncle and feel like you got a safe place, they ain't a safe place. They go back and tell your father, your mama, this, down the third, because some people like to see drama, bro, and that's just what they do. They realize, realize realism, like this is what they do and how they move. People don't have real character about they self and understand man. They do what everybody else do and they move the way everybody else move. You have to accept these things and accept the pussies and accept the growth of what's going on in your life. You are not responsible for how another person take your mental stability the wrong way. If you got to be alone to help yourself, then do that. Be alone. Accept alone. And really understand when you're alone, you get closer to God. You hear him talking to you every day that you're moving, working, doing the things you've got to do. The main thing he wants us to do in this world, and I'm going to tell her two things, bro, especially for men. And ladies, you too. Find God. Find him. And focus on your purpose. Stop letting the outside world control you. Stop letting these things and what's going on on the internet really, like, really, like, put you down because you're not in the same position that everybody else in. Let me tell y'all something. And people used to hate when I say this, but it's true. When you when you are a person where you look at zodiac signs, right? And I'm I'm, I'm keeping this real because God didn't make these things. Like we so often go to our zodiac sign to find some type of some type of clarifications with ourselves. How can the internet tell us who he is if we don't even know who he is? We never, before the internet, before all this, we had to really find out who he was. And then when Zodiac signs, Zodiac signs became a real big thing, we started literally, when we alone and we feel like we going through something, we got to go to a Zodiac sign to confirm who we are. And truth be told, that's not who you are. Every Cancer is not the same. Every Gemini is not the same. Every Aries is not the same. Everybody have their do's and don'ts and they wants. You get what I'm saying? But you would never understand that if you don't sit to yourself and get off the phone and really notarize what you want out your life or who you is. People people use that Zodiac sign shit to put themselves in a toxic a toxic bubble. Like, oh yeah, we this Zodiac sign and you're that Zodiac sign. That's why we won't go. That's why things ain't gonna work. That's the problem, bro. We grown. If you're a grown person, you realize logic. But having logical conversations with certain people, it don't work. It will never work. You can't even put your mind in that frame and have that conversation with that person. I don't like, even when grown man be talking to me about that shit, I'll be looking at it dumb. Like, bro, Everybody has anger. Everybody go through things. Everybody has feelings. Everybody just show their feelings a little bit different and everybody cry a little bit different. We are all the same. We're all God's children, bro. That's why I tell people when you sit alone and you understand who you are, that's how you grow every time. You really you really sit with God and reflect on yourself. You look in the mirror every day and you reflect on yourself. No matter what it is, if you're going through pain, you feel a heart, you feel a hurt, you just you, you lost a friend, you lost a brother, you lost a sister, you lost a, a close just just anything in life, grandma, auntie. You know what I'm saying? When you when you lost somebody bro and you and you know a lot of people be like you know people be down when they lose one of their family members or anything you get what i'm saying they be like i'm trying to get back to myself that's the thing you would never be yourself again you got to be accepting a new version of you 
Like you can't get back to yourself. It's not. It's nothing. It's not. Ain't no getting back to yourself. The the thing is, like accepting a new version of you and accepting who you are, and that's how you grow. Sometimes we feel so much pressure from trying to get back to the old us. The point is, it ain't no old us. That stage of you is over with. Get to get get accept the new you and accept who you are as a person, so you can grow and win every day. Accept that love, accept that abundance, accept that situation. Once you really put up with the situation that you're you and you're going through what you're going through because of you, that's how you win every time. You're not responsible for trying to be the old person you once was. But something traumatic happened to you. That's why you're not that old person. And that's why you feel like you're trying to get back to the old you because you're not that person no more. You are who you are now and accept that situation because God put you in. God don't put us in nothing that we can't handle. So if we go through something... We have to accept that is the old us in that situation. The new us is what we're trying to do. We may feel static. We may hit bumps in the road. We may hit curves on the road. But we still got to accept the situation for what it is and be alone at the end of the day. You get so much done when you're alone. It's t it, life t things take a team with life, but... You started to learn when you get closer to God and you really by yourself, he started bringing people around you that you need to be around. Ones that's not scandalous. Ones that want to see you do better. Ones that want to see you pushing the right aspects in life. The end of the day, you start realizing when you are around the right people and the things that you got going on in your life, that's how you win. That's how you push. That's how you become better and put yourself in these positive attitudes. You put yourself in the right formations. You put yourself where God wants you to be. And this is where he brings the million-dollar friends, that million-dollar wife, that million-dollar person who really supports you in your livelihood, people who generally support, not ones who support when you get there, but the ones that support you when you're down, because the down support always helps. It pushes you through way more because you know that you can do more because you got that circle around you that fulfilling your dreams at the end of the day. Number one rule to this life is be alone and accept logic in your life and get closer to God. You will not be able to go on the internet and search up your lifestyle. You have to really sit down and find God within you so you can grow. And accept the flaws and accept everything that's with yourself. Your flaws will never go away. You just got to accept them and understand and appreciate who you are. Because you can always tweak things. You can always accept your wrongs and you can always grow from them. You just got to know where you wrong got and where you where your flaws at. Peace. Follow me at Actual Truth on the score. Follow me at TG.True. Like, comment, subscribe to Actual Truth. Peace.